Hey curl friends and welcome back. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this small feed and braid ponytail inspired by Nicki Minaj. Around this time last year, Nicki Minaj was celebrating her birthday in Turks and Caicos with these bomb small feed-in braids into a ponytail. So I decided to go ahead and recreate something similar. I got super inspired by her photos. They are so bomb. Make sure to check out the blog to see what they looked like. So we're starting off on a twist out. I went ahead and added in some anti-itch serum. I want to make sure that mom's scalp is nice and moisturized and comfortable before we go ahead and install this protective style she does plan on wearing them for about two weeks or so so I want to make sure that she's not super uncomfortable itching with dry scalp I'm gonna go ahead and comb out that twist out that way we're starting off on stretched hair and begin sectioning off the hair the ponytail is angled onto one side of the head so I'm going to go ahead and separate the hair into four large sections. The two back sections will be going straight down the middle. It'll be a even section and then the front I'm going to go ahead and create that side part. The larger side is pretty much going to have braids moving over to the opposite side to create that side ponytail and here you guys can see I have four sections. For today's look, I'm using the Natural Boss Lady Ombre Braiding Hair Collection in Galaxy Blush. It's a nice ombre of purple and pink, and I thought it would be super bomb to try out for this style. So I'm starting off with a small section in the front. I'm just going to start braiding her own natural hair first and then I'll be adding in the braiding hair second. I'm using this curl cream from Sexy Hair. It is so bomb for braiding. Don't worry guys, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. It's just super great at holding hair, keeping it in place, and it's great for braids. It, it does not give it a really, really hard crunch, but it does have a nice hold. So I have gotten a good grip of her own natural hair. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the braiding hair. I did not cut the packs of hair. I had them folded in half and I'm just attaching the two strands from it being folded in half onto two strands of her natural hair and I'll just continue on cornrowing. If you are a beginner at braiding or cornrowing, don't worry girl, I got you. I will have the applicable links linked on the right side of your screen right now as to how to cornrow for beginners as well as how to plait if you don't have a clue how to braid period but as you guys can see I went ahead and started braiding her natural hair so I got a good grip I'm adding in small pieces of the braiding hair as I go and I just braid them into the cornrow the sizes of the pieces of braiding hair that I'm using are going from small to large so I'm having the smallest piece as my first piece that I'll add in as the braiding hair piece and then as I get closer and closer to the back or the end of the braid I'll add in larger strands of braiding hair. Her ponytail will be leaning towards the right side of her head so I'm just following that natural shape and as you guys can see the whole left side is complete. Now for the back I wanted to give her a nice little like swerve pattern so I'm going to begin from the nape of her head and start wrapping the braids upward towards the right side of her head for that ponytail. And as I get closer and closer to the right side I'll just continue wrapping the braids around. You'll find that for the nape you'll be adding in more braiding hair simply because the braid has a longer distance to travel. It's traveling all the way from the back of the head all the way up to the middle or top of the head. It's a really long way to travel so I'm starting off like I said with her own natural hair. I'm using the cream as I go that's what you guys see smeared on my hand it's just easier access. And then I'm adding in the smallest piece of braiding hair, a medium sized piece another medium sized piece and once I get to the end I'm just going to add the largest piece not larger than the braid but a larger piece of braiding hair and I just continue to swerve and swerve until I got all the way up to the right side of her head and those braids will be wrapping up to the tip top of her head for that ponytail and then we'll be done and complete with the hairstyle it's a really really simple pattern the main objective for this to come out right is just to make sure that you section off the hair correctly. That way you know which braids are swinging where and you can lay out and map out your braid pattern beforehand. 
And here's what we ended up with. Some nice ombre braids. They start from black to purple to a bright pink. I'm leaving out a section of hair to wrap around the base of this ponytail. I'm just going to wrap her hair into a loose pony. I only wrapped it around twice. I don't want a lot of tension on her hair. And I'm just going to take that leftover section. I just left about maybe about 10 to 15 braids out and I'm going to wrap that around the base of her ponytail. I'm going to wrap it all the way to the end and then use a hairpin to lock everything in place. Last but not least, polish everything off with some Eco Styler Gel for them edges, honey, and you are complete. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed these small feet and braids into a ponytail. I love you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.